Ha! I am no longer muted. I win! But it looks like my thing's way off, so... I'm just trying to get my lighting right, and then everything's just kind of broken. Alright, well, we'll see if that's problematic in a second. Because if it's not, I'm just leaving it the way it is. Lighting sometimes is just out of my control. Also, I need to turn off. Nope, not that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There's flux. Uh, we're going to disable until sunrise, which should change. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I always keep forgetting what a difference it makes. All right. Benu. Cosmoquest.org. like it'll be okay. Mm, I'm just gonna say my webcam settings are good. So you can't see it, but we have a hundred or 1,010 done images. 1,010. I'm going to scribble that down on my piece of paper, and then I am going to ping everybody at Discord. I know you can't see it. 1,010. Done. When we started. Okay. I'm going to hit launch application, and then... There we go. That's how we want it to look. I want to pull chat up where I can see it. So we're going to do behind the scenes. And... gaming aloud and we'll just yeah competitive composing convention cooking cooperative cosplay crocheting filming through or flipping through all the tags we could possibly add to this. Once we do that, we'll start marking. We will start marking. Looks like I will need my glasses though. really robotics. I think I'm getting towards the end. 
Tutorial? Yeah, we can call this a, a tutorial. Is that social something? I don't know, not social eating. Alright. Okay. So that's all that. And, um... Let's do this, shall we? Let's do this. So hello, Kevlar. You're probably uh, lurking, but hello. So let's do this. Breaking out the glasses. You know it's serious time when the glasses come out. All right. So. Thousand and ten done, and we're just gonna we're just gonna get right at it. And all right, already right off the bat, we have something that is very um, very bright. So we're gonna do the usual thing of hey, we found a bright thing, and we're going to copy the URL. Hey, yeah, I know we're copying that right now, Rue. Yeah. I caught you out on lurking. I figured you wouldn't mind if I called you out though. Um. Oh wow. And then subject. So put that in the bender mappers. Oh no, you are not interrupting me. You are not interrupting me at all. It's just weird when I start this because there's no real start. Yeah. Thanks, Rue. You marking too? That boulder is really shiny. And I know Dr. Pamela said she would join us. After she got home from the vet, there was no emergencies. Her vet's just open late, which is actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm a little envious that her vet is open that late. So we're just going to mark some boulders. You're enjoying the music. Well, I'm glad you enjoy the music, Kepler. I'm definitely digging this music setup. I, I like how I don't have to think about it. Yeah, and you're not quite on screen, but you're close, huh? I, uh, need to deal with my lighting situation. I'm not happy about it. See, this looks submerged, but I'm also just gonna kind of let it be. Lights are flickering. My lights are flickering. Mm. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. Let me go fix that. I know what it is. It's the fan. Um, the last day to map is the... My lights are not flickering, you can tell. I'm also not sure about my color balance and things of that nature. July 10th. Um... All right, I am going to redo my webcam settings because I don't I don't like how they happened. Mm. Eh, we'll live with it. That's better than what it was. Um, so I think what you're seeing is the fan on. So let me go turn the fan off. Are you gonna lay halfway on screen? Oh. All right, 
Are you cool with turning the fan on? Yeah. Disappear. Oh, you're what? Why are you disappearing? <laughs> you don't want to mark Bennu with us? Nah. Uh, can you pull on the cord one more time? I'm not convinced that it's stopping. And I'll do the other one real quick too. TV show favorite human. Yeah, favorite human is indeed a ghost. He's a ghost. Paranor says get rockin'. And yeah, as in Mark Benu. And now my green screen's too close. There we go. Favorite human is indeed a ghost. He is that disembodied off off-screen voice. Um, I feel like I should add the... Was that a sneeze slash laugh or was that just a sneeze? It almost sounded like a sneeze laugh. Um, yeah, he's in disembodied voice. We have a, a bits tracker for getting him and Kyle to do a face reveal on stream. It kind of does look like there's a footprint right here. That big oblong thing? Yeah. No, we're not going to send it to the conspiracy nutters. Oh my goodness. We don't, we don't need that. You know better, Paranor. Dog, why why do you lay literally he has a certain spot that Puck lays or that Puck has a certain spot that he lays down in when he's waiting for me to throw Cheerios and it it kills me because I'm like he only does it when I'm streaming. I'm like, come on dog, get on get on screen. He's like, no, not until you throw a Cheerio. So there's that. There are some kind of bright objects on here. I feel like I need to have Discord up. We tested a growth ray. All right, now I also have Discord up. Not that Discord's doing anything, which is fine. It's fine that Discord's quiet. Growth rays, sunbeams, sunbeams. Yeah, growth sunbeams are plant growth rays. Not all plants. This looks almost looks like a crater. What do you think? It has really hard edges though. Really hard edges. But it almost does in it's almost perfectly round. Not quite. How did a Cheerio end up in my Apparently not even my drink is safe from Cheerios. Well, let's move the drink out of the Cheerio tossing path, shall we? We shall. Get all settled in here. Oh, so favorite human's gonna go upstairs and watch TV in bed. Or he's not, he feels like he's not in the way. YouTube beer? No, it's not beer. Um, it's water with a squeeze of lemon juice and some frozen strawberries. No, I discovered today that uh, s'mores Oreos, two s'mores Oreos, has the same calories as one of my uh, stouts, and I am actually trying to lose weight. So, yeah, I am. 
literally, I had Oreos today instead of beer. I, I did not, I did not uh, budget my calories well for today. So, see this is where I'd mark the bright dots with the star tool I suggested and even the shiny boulder. Yeah, but somebody has to go in and program that. That's the problem. We have to make that make that function functionality happen and as cool as it would be uh, I it doesn't look like we have time because I haven't even you know rolled my sleeves up and messed with uh, the cosmic quest code I'm still setting up my coding environment um, to just make the code work and I'm going to progress, or just to, so I can work on the code for the website. On, and uh, I'm going to progress with that until, and setting that up until I'm told otherwise. So I figure doing a couple steps of that a day is better than doing nothing. And I hate it. I hate it already. So if I'm not, you know, if I don't even have my coding environment set up, I can't even work on something like this. And then I don't know how uh, we would handle that either. Tinkerbell, what are you getting into? I don't trust my dog. And then I don't know how uh, we handle that with the data stuff on the data end. So it's it's, it's a cool it's a cool idea. It's a cool feature. It's just implementation is probably more difficult than you'd expect. And that would technically be marked as a rock. So. Yeah, I thought, to be honest, the star tool would share code with the rock tool and just be stars instead of dots. So yeah, you would um, get a different variable name. Um, it would definitely need a different variable name. I could go in copy paste to make the star tool happen, but I don't know about adding buttons. And the layers thing also seems cool, but again, we have just over a month to get this done in March, so that's more of like a long-term goal. Yeah, I know copy and paste has issues, as you pointed out last night. Was that last night? I don't know. The other night when you had copy-paste issues. So. Oh, awesome. I'm glad Susie was able to blur the text. Cool. I wonder if she's able to blur the text, she's probably able to add beeps. As in like censoring beeps. But I don't think we can do that for a video that's already been posted. Because there's a few things I'd like to censor. Yeah, I don't know, and I try not to mess with it. Um, that's technically a rock. I don't mess with the YouTube. I don't know if I have access to the YouTube. So, um, I have, uh, for, I'm just doing basic, really basic uh, video editing. I use OpenShot, which is great, but it has its limitations. I was able to use that and um, what do I want to call it? And uh, Audacity, which is another free tool. I was able to use those two to produce cleaner uh, audio for video and put them back together and that was cool everybody appreciated that 
Um, so that worked. It's just, I can't get audible. I can't find anything for DSing in audible. But for me to DS video, that might be more of a uh, thing. Kevlar asks, uh, when marking rocks, is one dot sufficient or use additional dots to completely cover it? That's a really good question, Kevlar, and I've gone both. I've done both back and forth. Um, I don't know. I could easily. I think sometimes they do go and put, you know, like two dots in a row. I don't know. You wanna, let's ask Star Strider right now. Um, isn't that just a, as bad as outlining boulders? How many dots to put on rocks that are bigger than a dot? I don't know. Um, it could be just as bad as outlining boulders. Oops, that was the... But I think, I think you just put one dot. I've done both ways and there's not really, um, that looks more like a boulder. I'm waiting for her reply. She's probably busy doing a gazillion other things. But I have asked boss lady and boss lady shall tell us. I try to decide what's a boulder and what's not. Oh yeah, that's right. She did mention she was going to code this evening. You're right. She did mention that. This is a boulder. I'm just going to call it now. That looks like a boulder. This looks like a boulder. Oops. It looks like a boulder that's off screen, but I'm not going to be able to get it. That's part of a boulder. Maybe she's just busy star stridering on. Um, no, uh, Paranor, she had, because the line tool will let you draw. Oh no, I guess it does disappear. I wish it did red then green. Wow. Um, that's pretty small. That's the smallest I can get the uh, boulder tool to be. Now she was pretty specific earlier as in um, if it's one half to three times the size of the tool to use the thing. One, yeah, of the dot. Yeah, they are kind of a pita to stay within the margins of the larger rocks. This looks like a boulder. It really does. Some of these land mass or some of these masses and just piles of rocks look like they're boulders. So yeah. Rock support group. Part of me is like, why do I even have a dog cam? They're they're never on the dog cam. They really are never on the dog cam. Some rocks are bolder than most. Yeah, that's a good one. It 
seen this big thing here. Like, I can't tell if it's a boulder. Like, there's a shadow there, though, so... Maybe it is a boulder. Yeah, I'm marking it as a, as a boulder. Because it has a shadow. It's not a big shadow, but it's a shadow. It's a petrified space slug. It does look like a petrified space slug, doesn't it? It does. I like how the other dog comes out and gets the leftovers that the other one didn't want. He's also being nice by leaving her leftovers. He doesn't have to do that. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You're off screen, but I'm talking about you. She's like, I know, Mom. Because I am the bestest dog. It is so quiet with the other two dogs gone. It's kind of nice. It is legit kind of nice. Oh, you're just trying to make a bed now? Okay, Tinker. They are... My mom came and got them last night. Um, I guess my dad doesn't like being without his dog. Well, not his dog. Because we, well, before, when they had the two dogs before, it was definitely my dad's dog and my mom's dog. And these are both kind of my mom's dogs. But uh, before they put their old chihuahua down, um, that was definitely my dad's dog. Shadows make terrible friends. They are flat, two-dimensional, and twist all over everything. Yeah, I know. So this dog, this chihuahua that they had, was at least 21. He may have been 22 or 23. Um, he lived a long interesting life he was uh we called him chico it's the name he came with we don't my family doesn't really change names of dogs um his origin story was that he was abandoned by a family in a park no one came forward to claim him my former mother-in-law claimed him and uh took him home with her. Uh, she had... that looks like a crater. She got, I think later, another chihuahua and then somewhere in the more, somewhere in the mix she got dash hounds. Um, yeah. Well Chica was the man, man. Um, Kind of looks like a crater, and this kind of looks like a crater, and this definitely looks like a crater. It's a teeny, tiny impact crater. The dot in the middle. Um, but yeah, his origin story was essentially um, found abandoned in a park by potentially a. Uh, Spanish-speaking family, which is not uncommon in parts of Colorado, and uh, people remember hearing him being called Chico, and yeah, my mother-in-law brought him in, or took him in, I don't know how many years he lived with her, um, when former mother-in-law brought him in, uh, then... And she moved cross country. She moved cross country with four dash hounds and him. So there were seven dogs at the house at one point. And we ended up giving Chico to my dad. Because Chico was not, was really not doing well here with seven dogs in the house. 
he needed to be the only dog. So we gave him to my dad. Um, my dad was like a dog at first, but my dad really took to him. And he lived with my parents for a really, really long time. My parents were definitely his retirement home and he would just not go softly into that good night and the very end of his life he was dragging his hind end um he was dragging his hind end to around and couldn't really get around much anymore and he was blind probably deaf he just he didn't he didn't he didn't want to quit so my mom just kind of gave up and uh, took him to the vet. So, kind of sad, but he lived a really good long life. And most of that was a really good life. So, um, face when you can't do oblong craters. No, this, it, I think that bits of this crater are hidden under the boulders and that's why I marked it that way let me hide all my marks for a second um, this is a very clean circular edge and that just it doesn't happen like that so that's why I marked it as a crater hey Veronica oh that yeah I that's not a crater so I don't I don't know how to mark it it's definitely not a crater. Um, I feel like I missed rocks and stuff. But Chico was a pretty cool dog. He liked to go for car rides. He liked to eat uh, french fries. But he definitely, definitely did not like being around a whole bunch of other dogs and he would just kind of do this weird grump bark at them. So, but he just, all he wanted to do was lay around. But yeah, towards the end of his life, he had old man bladder and, you know, things just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And it's sad, but yeah. Anyways, all right, I think I'm done with this image, which means I'm going to hit submit and I'm going to take a quick break from that. And oh. are there more rocks in the upper left? There probably were. Oops. Probably were. So in another window, I'm gonna open up Venu just to see how many. All right, we are at 1,011 images done. 1,011 images done. So, there you go. Um, let's check Discord real quick. So let us take a break from dogs, or a break from rocks, and look at some dogs. I saw chat. Alright, night Kevlar, rest well. So I'm gonna take a break and look at dogs. Check Rocket Launch Live. The next march is, or the next launch. Oh, I heard bits. I heard bits. Oh, wow. Thank you, Bad Panda Bear. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the resub. Oh, we're going to get the dogs all worked up. Hey, Puck, can you speak? Come on, speak. Tinker's like, all right, all right, I heard the magic word. Can you speak? Yeah. 
Really? Is that how you say thank you? Speak. <laughs> Alright, Tinker says thank you, Puck says thank you, Puck mostly just wants bits. And... <laughs> hey! Once was enough. And... Make it rain! Oh, they really scatter a whole lot more without the dog bed there. Stinker's just off screen. Dank raid bark at you. Hey, Hiptacular. We are taking a break from uh, marking Bennu. Scatter. Yeah, I like the scatter. And we're taking a bit of a break from marking Bennu. And we're looking at some dogs. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to pull up the... I'm going to add the bit goal, because we don't have the bit goal on this, on this uh, scene. <laughs> you're, you're taking a break from playing with rocks, too? Let's see, I think we need to make that a bit bigger. Scooch that down. All right. And there's the bit goal, the unofficial bit goal, because uh, Dr. Pamela doesn't have this up on any of her setups. So the unofficial bit goal is to, um, it's 200 and, I think it's like 200,000, I'm taking a rock from breaking with play. <laughs> uh, I think it's 200,000 bits and we are 13% of the way. Um, Well, that's not a Tinker Shadow, that's a Tinker Butt, Veronica. Although, yeah, you did see her shadow for a little bit. So we're at 13%. Um, it has X number of days to go. We're probably just going to let that run. And there's, it's, there's no serious deadline. It's just for fun. So... Probably should have set it for to end at the end of the year. It's a race. Go, go, go. Well, figure if we're gonna keep asking you guys for money. <laughs> what year is it again? 2019. I figure we're going to keep asking you guys for money, which, you know, you guys are very, very generous with both your time and your money, and I super appreciate it because you're paying my paycheck. Um, we, uh, you know, aside from, you know, cuteness, we give you guys something else since, you know, favorite human is usually just a uh, usually it's just a disembodied voice it is a silly goal I enjoy the silly goal I totally enjoy the silly goal and you know we're not really taking it super serious we're not like hey help us you know make the goal it's just this is a silly goal all right, we'll finish watching Puck eat all the Cheerios on screen, and then we'll go to the next one. <laughs> Forever love, Yar. Silly is good. Silly is good. Silly is fun. I think Tinker's a little too close, and that's why Puck's being so weird. Hey, Puck. What's up? Oh, look, you get more bits. Do you want to take them from my hand this time? You want to take them from my hand this time? Up, up, up. That doesn't quite get you on camera. Here. Here, here, here. Oh. Alright, we're going to sprinkle on Tinkerbell off screen. And we're going to take another handful and just throw. Throw Cheerios at the dogs. 
Tinker definitely got some Cheerios sprinkled on her. One of my house guests crawled under, was crawling under my t uh, desk to get Cheerios that went there. She was determined. All right. Transition back and we can, you know, have a, have a small puck butt on the screen. Okay. Oof, this is a big boulder. Ding, toast on. <laughs> Rue says, Bennu is the best interplanetary gravel depot. The prices are dirt cheap as long as you bring your own truck. <sighs> this is a really big boulder. It takes up half the screen. So this boulder is 22 and a half meters wide. And it, you know, whatever. It's 22 and a half meters this way. And then it's probably eight or 10 meters this way. It's, it's wild. And then you have this little boulder on top of it. I don't know. It's, it's all right. It's, it's wild. It's a very sharp flat edge, too. Oh, this is another boulder. We're gonna mark that as a boulder. I'm not even sure if they're like just part of the rock or what. Are you done? Are you done, Puck? Puck's like, yeah, I'm done. Thank you for the Cheerios. But yeah, thank you for uh, for the bits, Veronica. <laughs> Make them bark, but it's like after midnight and even though there's not school tomorrow, I do have neighbors. And the last thing I want them to think is that something's wrong. So yeah, we're just, we're just not going to have the dogs bark. Even though, you know, some of them honk their horns instead of just getting out of the car. Oh, that's a definite crater and there's nothing really to mark around it. It's probably from the other image. Um, even though some of them honk their horns and don't get out of their car when they're, you know, picking somebody up. I'm not bitter. Yeah. Yeah, they totally have a curfew after midnight. I try to keep the barking down. They're usually pretty good about it. Oh, you found Cheerios all the way over here, Tink. Wow, I'm impressed. They should text. They should text. They don't text. I. They don't text. They don't call. They don't get out of their car and knock on the door. They just sit in the driveway and honk their or on the street and honk their horn, and it it drives me bonkers. Um. Because it makes my dogs bark every single time. Squeeze me gently, says Rue. Hiptacular Raptor says, let's start a movement with a, without a purpose. But sitting in your, your cars and honking your horn instead of just getting out and knocking on the door. Change pace. Yeah, I've been searching for my circus. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you lose your monkeys too? Start a movement without a purpose instead. <laughs> How do you have a movement without a purpose? Ah. Uh, I mean, whatever, you know, whatever works. Well, Rue, if you're tired, go to sleep. I am just kind of a freak of nature that's up this late. Not really a freak of nature, I'm a night owl. Sit 
sing it out loud. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Followed with a don't tell NASA. All right, night room. There's so many things. I know, Puck. Squishy dreams. All right, is that all the boulders? Sweet rocky dreams. Yes, may they be dreams of Bennu, not nightmares. This is not meant to be nightmare fuel. Oh no, your ISP dropped. Music is so soft that I can't even hear it. It's there. Alright, pull everything back up again. Paranor, you missed the halftime concert. Did they play Like a Rock? Probably. Or Rock Me Amadeus. Are we really. Part of me is like, we should probably put together uh, a playlist because sometimes we I've, I've told people to listen to astronomy cast or our old broadcasts while doing this but part of me is all we need a playlist of like rock themed songs if we did we did chat karaoke like a rock star I wonder if we could do twitch sings with all rock songs. That would be kind of neat. I, I don't have Twitch sings though. Let me get my earplugs. Exactly. Yeah, no, I'm not. I, I am a little afraid of karaoke and favorite human and I have thought about a there's a couple programs that'll allow you to teach Japanese overseas. And there's one that's actually sponsored by the government. And it's a youth exchange. But they, they don't put an upper limit on youth. Um, and even if you go and teach in a, a private English school, there's still you know, we're still worried about having to go out and drink because I'm a lightweight and um, karaoke bars because I have a feeling we'd, we'd end up at karaoke bars and we'd be that weird, those weird Americans that don't want to do karaoke. So. I want to rock. I could probably put different music on. But then it wouldn't exactly be zen and the art of Bennu marking. much zen. It, it is a lot. It's, this is, I feel like this is very peaceful. Like this is a, a good place to come and chill out. I don't know if this counts as like visual ASMR or whatever. Like it might for some people, but other people are like, you're making it worse. It is good wind down music. 
I like listening to like chill hop and lo-fi uh, stuff. And a lot of it is remixes by other people um, of different songs. Some of it's just, you know, things people have made, but it's not always um, stream safe. And I haven't seen any of the songs I really, really like. That, yeah, we're just gonna call that a boulder. And this looks rough, but not a boulder. That has a shadow. Bet 42 rocks. Uh, I think her currency is stars. And I used to know how to give stars and stuff away. and It's been like six months at least since I've done that. Oh, trying to hit on this spot in the map. Fair enough. Over under. Um I I, I don't I don't know. It doesn't log uh, how many marks I made. Be kind of neat though if I had something to be like, okay, this is kept track of you know how many rock marks you made and how many uh, how many boulder marks you've made. Yeah, logs to rocks or rocks to bits. Yeah, it is kind of unfortunate. Some streams do fun stuff with their uh, stream currency. Like I think, was it you that pointed me towards the, the guy with the robot that you can troll through chat? Um, if I were to do a, a Cheerio dispenser for the dogs, I would probably have it based off of currency. Stream currency, because I know not everybody has bits, but you accumulate stream currency by watching. Um, I'd say we could do like a raffle or drawing or whatever with them, but that would involve me mailing things out, which Veronica, you know, I am terrible at. I, I'm terrible at. Um, could chat click on stream to identify something? we see that you might miss. How how would that work? Um, that would be awesome. Like chat votes in real time. Where you click on a certain part of the stream. If you can figure out what that plugin is, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you can find that plugin, I would totally use that for this. Yeah, um, let's see, what am I doing tomorrow? Favorite human's going to the gym in the morning. I'm supposed to go to the VA. I'm not going to the VA. Dad, what's a plugin? Um, I'm trying to think, like, the only thing I really have to do tomorrow is my slides from Wednesday. So I'm thinking, and I'm not promising, I'm thinking I could go to campus tomorrow. Um, go to campus tomorrow and barely tie my own shoes, let alone plug in. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Um, I'm thinking I can go to campus tomorrow. No, uh, the VA thing is, it's for, because I think by BMI, I am now technically obese, and uh, I pretty much know what caused it. I'm not moving around a whole lot, I'm not very active, I haven't been watching what I eat a whole lot, 
it was doing pretty well and then I put on a whole bunch of weight and we already checked my thyroid my thyroid came back within the normal range um, you know the weather's nicer like we are definitely in June now and like I was gonna start a garden like with uh, cosmic themed tomatoes like I, I think the seeds are here like near my desk I didn't start the seeds the growing season is too short for me to start them now um, hip, hip says nature takes its time yet everything is accomplished yeah um, but the thing at the VA is meant as it's it's called a, the moves class or whatever and it's like a 12 week program you weigh in every week uh, you learn something new or they teach you something and they start it off with like food and um, nutrition like food nutrition like exercise and I was doing pretty well and there were people there that you know a there's people there that offered to give me a ride and I'm like no 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 I can take the bus I'm fine it, it forces me to walk which it does it forces me to walk a mile um, but I didn't get the number of the one person that's like, look, I live in Boardman or in Southside or whatever. I'll give you a ride. And I should have exchanged numbers with him because then I would definitely, you know, be going on days I didn't feel like going. Um, but there was one class where they were talking about exercise and things of that nature and um, like reasons why people don't exercise and I gave depression as a reason and she heard me say depressing so um, the other person that was there corrected it he was pretty awesome he gave me a ride to Walmart after I was done so I didn't have to wait for the bus because Walmart's just down the street and um, no, that just really stuck with me. And then I had a couple, then I got busy with that project and covering Pamela. And um, I had a couple bad brain days where I just fixated on the fact that the, wo the woman thought I said that exercising was depressing. And it's just, it's just a lot to do sometimes. So. Um, why way on a sunny day? So much to why, why way? Ay, ay, ay. Um, you should do it if you want to. I totally understand if I don't want to. No, um, I, I don't want to go because of that one, literally because of that one healthcare worker and just, it's stupid. And I'll probably get referred back into the program. But I think I just want to meet with the dietitian. Also, the time is awkward because it's at 1.30 on a Tuesday afternoon. It's at 1.30 or 2 on a Tuesday afternoon. And it's just, it's very awkward timing. It's in the middle of the day. It takes me like an hour to get there by bus. And... You know, I'm there for an hour, and when I get out, if I go to campus, I could probably just still do things on campus, but a lot of people would be gone. And um, usually by the time I'm just like, screw it, I'm going to go to Walmart and do some shopping. Um, usually by the time I'm at Walmart and catching the bus home, it's the last bus, last regular bus. If you were allowed to throw rocks while there, would you go? Probably. Real talk, gravity and inertia are at play here. They are, but um, I realized I haven't been to campus in like a month. Um, I think the last time I went to campus was when I was working on the iData project and that was back in April. So yeah, tomorrow I think I'm gonna go to campus and if I 
get up early enough and get moving quick enough, I can actually get favorite human to drop me off at campus. Which, then I'm there and all I have to do is figure out how to get back, which is easy. So, which I can take a couple routes, like sit and be social and chat with people or, um, which is fine, which would be awesome because I haven't seen a lot of people on campus for like over a month. Or, or, or I con my parents into coming downtown to pick me up and I take them out to eat. Miss Town says, you need your scooter. I really do. Um, that's actually maybe what I should do tomorrow is go with my dad to get the titles switched. And then I can go out and do things again. Yeah, we're gonna switch the titles because we're switching scooters. Um, then I have to update the registration on the scooter and I'm gonna have to make sure I register, update my insurance. Um, and then go to campus and get a parking sticker <laughs> for the scooter so I can park on campus. Because <sighs> my indoor parking spot has gone away. All right, I think this image is done. Like, I can't even tell what's Rock's effort. Yeah, but um, registration renews on your birthday in Ohio, and it is my birthday this week. So, and I just got paid. So there is, this is really the best time for me to go with my dad to get everything sorted tomorrow, so yeah. I'm gonna be a day with my parents. Cause my mom's gotta drive my dad. But even with all that, I could still end up at the university. There is so much good stuff this week for me. Um, and my birthday is later this week. We, uh, the Lego set that I want is going to be ordered later this week because he gets paid on a different day that I do. I keep threatening to buy it. I keep being told no. It looks like that might be a crater. Um, and then for my birthday, we are going to a brewery that's kind of local because they have an astronomy themed beer, I think on tap. So, Actually, after I hit click submit, or yeah, after I hit image done on this image, um, I'll pull up the brewery. Get up and go, Cosmos beer. I mean, I do have a strongly themed beer in my fridge right now. This is an empty can. I like the artwork and I need to figure out how to get the label off the can. Is it gonna get blue screened out? It's probably gonna get blue screened out. Yeah, because it's it's yellow. But um trying to figure out I like the artwork on this can. Which is getting blue screened out. Or green screened out because it's it's yellow. Um I wonder if I hold it in front of the dog cam, but it'll be even smaller. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can make this work. There. So yeah, I like the uh, the art on this can. Oof. But that's not the brewery we're going to because this brewery is up in Cleveland. Happy cake day, thank you. Oh yeah, we're gonna go to a brewery and there's gonna be astronomy themed beer. And I think they serve food. Gosh, I hope they serve food. <laughs> it's not all breweries do. Opportunity. I actually have not looked to see on Untapped if Opportunity is a beer. That's what we'll do. We'll open up Opportunity. Or open up, not Opportunity. We'll open up Untapped. All right, um, they showed them people can drink more. 
Yeah, um, Brewdog in Columbus serves food. They have a restaurant, but they also have a hotel attached. Effort gives us opportunity! I feel like I need to print that out and put it on top of my computer or something. Opportunity for dessert? I mean, sure. This time we did a thing! Um, okay, I think this one's done. I can see a lot of roughness. Alright. Yeah, I think this one's done. If we're lucky, the cake will be vanilla sprinkles with double rainbow. I don't know if there's going to be a cake, because usually, usually I would be the one baking. I bake everybody else's birthday cakes. So I don't, I don't know if there's going to be a birthday cake. Birthdays are kind of low key with my family. All right, so we're going to drag this over to the other screen. Come on, you can do it. We're going to open up untapped. Go do the ting! And... Peach cobbler with a scoop of ice cream, maybe? Maybe! Somebody has to make the peach cobbler! Yeah, this one works. Nope. Part of me is like, I should really see what my dog is doing. Oh, I know what my dog is doing. All right, so I know what my dog is doing. She actually needs me to take care of something for her. So I'm going to unduck the music and mute my mic while I go fill up her water because I'm listening to her drag the water bowl. So I will be right back. Really? He walked away from uneaten Cheerios. Uneaten Cheerios. He walked away from uneaten Cheerios. Oh, fuck. At one time we had a puppy that would drag the water dish to the top of the stairs when it was empty and drop it down. So this isn't really a water, a, like a proper, proper water dish. This is a, um, it's an autofill one that looks like a uh, like big, I think it actually filled, is it? I don't know how many gallons of water it is, but like a big five gallon uh, bottle of water, like a water cooler bottle. And when it's empty, there's still a little bit of water that 
isn't pushed all the way through to the outer part, but there's still water tracked where you put the bottle into it. So she's learned that if you pull it forward, the force of her pulling it will knock some water through and she can usually get water that way. So it was cute until the third or fourth time down the stairs to get it and refill. Yeah, that is kind of annoying. It's so like I can I can hear Tinker dragging the water dish or you know the whole water thing across the floor trying to get water out of it. And like she doesn't know to drag it to us. She doesn't think about that. She's just trying to get water out of it. But she knows if she does it enough and we hear it, um, that we'll fill it. You know, I never managed to get either of my dogs to do anything neat, like bring the water or bring the food dish or things of that nature. All right, so we've got untapped open. This is where I keep track of all of my beers. I've had 256 unique beers. She is a problem solving dog. She really is. So, and I have a, the web version is different than the other version. So I have a space themed to try list and um, like Mad Moon, uh, hard cider is made in Columbus, but it's not distributed here. So I have all sorts of things on here. All sorts of things. Ecliptic uh, Brewing is another brewery I'd love to visit. I think Astronomy Ale Works is in the UK. But this is just full, full of um, of things that I've essentially thought were, you know, astronomy-ish themed enough. So. Birdfish is Birdfish is the name of the brewing company and we are going to look at where are their brews? Here's just their top beer, see all beers. Um They have Prodigal Sun, Sun spelled S-U-N. Um, I don't usually do IPAs. I don't usually do IPAs, but I might uh, do a taste tester to include Prodig Prodigal Sun. They have something called Northern Brights. That's also click. This is uh, an American Pale Ale. Um, where is it? Space Candy, if they have that available. Um, I might try that. Galaxy Jones. See, a lot of these astronomy themed ones are IPAs or things I don't typically drink. And the dog is barking. So I think these are sorted by Sort by... I don't know how to do. You know, old. Mm, the so the snozberries taste like snozberries is something I'm actually looking forward to. They had something. Space candy, space candy. Space candy, space candy. Snozberries taste like snozberries. It does sound good. A lot of this sounds good. Um, maybe it's just easier. Electric orange blossom. I would actually love to have. But I don't know if that's something that they currently have on tap. All right, so it's probably easier to just go there, go there. It's not verified.
but now I, of course now I can't find it. Let's see what they have in their photos. Maybe somebody took a photo of their beer board. Probably not, because that's not usually what people do. Anyways, they are supposed to have a Oh, hi, Tinker. What did you do to get in trouble? Here they go. Um, well, I had room for cream. I could have swore they had an astronomy themed beer. I think it was a porter too. Porter or stout. It was a nice dark beer. Okay, I can't find it, which makes me sad. It makes me very sad. Oat of this world? Oh, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. I mean, it's like, maybe I did save it to my list. So let me do, let me go back to my list. Go back to space themed. And let's do birdfish. <laughs> That's hilarious. <sighs> oh my goodness. Well, I I don't I don't know. I could have sworn. I could have sworn. Maybe it's not by Birdfish, but it's available at Birdfish. It sounds like something that would also happen. This isn't even in English. Oh, not that one. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we'll find out. Let's see birdfish. Let's go to their website. Ohio. Fine. Columbia, Ohio. Birdfish Brewing Company. There we go. No, 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 no. All right, available. Oh, they're right on Main Street. Okay. So, what are you? They have food trucks. This one's a popular one. Or. RBG, Sour IPA, Pumpkin Town Brown, Speedy Penguino. Oh no. Peach the World, or no, Peach the Word. Oh no. Well, I obviously was mistaken because I thought, I thought, I thought it was here, but this is indeed the brewery that we're going to go, go to. Anyways, so yeah, yeah, yeah. There was an attempt. There was an attempt. 
I didn't even realize that I got tucked under that. All right, so there was an attempt. Back to, uh, back to mapping. Which is just what we want to do. But it's what we're here for. Uh, what Astro on Tap did you go to, Planetary Pan? I know you said that you went to an Astro on Tap. Um, but you didn't say what city. Youngstown's just... I mean, there's enough bars here, but there's only two astronomers and... For it to be a weekly thing, like, I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be cool, but I, I just don't see that taking off here without a whole lot of work on, quite frankly, my behalf. South Bay. Oh, San Jose. Now, I didn't learn about astronomy on tap until AGU. Oh, that's not how I want to draw that line. I think I have an astronomy on tap um, sticker on my poster tube. Because I was like, this is awesome. And then there was one in Seattle when I was there for AAS, but um, it wasn't, we would have had to, it wasn't near the uh, convention center. So favorite human and I didn't go. Yeah. Now, yeah, no, Seattle has one. Seattle totally has one. Um, I don't know how much of a drive that is for you compared to San Francisco. And I'm not sure, like, how exactly they operate either. Uproar Brewing. A brewery hosts you. That's awesome. Do they also make special astronomy themed beers <laughs> for you guys? South of San Francisco. They changed the names, yes. Aw. Never been because over an hour away and I'm not an astronomer. Um, after this next image, we can look up some info about that, about astronomy on tap. And then we can, because I think it's just, because um, I think they have astronomers come speak where they come speak on some astronomy thing. And I don't know if it's, there's trivia afterwards. Oh, this is a weird boulder. Um, I think there's trivia afterwards. And I, I could definitely do it. Um, if it was a once a month thing, that would be easier. But, um... I don't think that's something I could get the astronomers at YSU into. See, it, again, that's a little too perfect. We have three speakers. Trivia happens between first and second talks. Scores are announced after the second speaker. Prizes are awarded after the third. That's a nice one. Um. SETI Institute is now a sponsor, and we're making sure to have one of our speakers there for every event. That's actually pretty cool. I don't think I could get enough astronomy people. Because the only astronomy people I can think of in town we are two astronomers. Um, I 
Our two astronomers are a planetarium engineer and our planetarium lecturer. We have students, we have undergrad students that do research. But getting them to present, I like, I don't know what they would present. SETI, NASA Ames, UC Santa Cruz, UC Berkeley, San Jose State, and San Stanford. One of our speakers this last time was a grad student. Oh, we're not talking like grad student. These are undergrad astronomy. Um, I have wanted to do a not safe for work star talk. I've, I think I've mentioned this before. Um, some planetariums uh, in the Midwest region have like an adults only Valentine's Day show and they you pay money, which we don't charge admittance, so that's already problematic. You pay money, you get like a box of chocolates and I think some roses and seats and and that's problematic for us because um, we're free and open to the public. So we can't charge admittance, it's part of our charter. Um, We could do it as a fundraising thing, but the number of hoops that has to be jumped through to get, you know, to do that would be insane. But going and doing something off campus would be neat, but yeah, I, I just don't know what we would do. Probably a speaker and some, or one speaker or two, one or two speakers and some trivia. Every, year, every other month sounds more doable. But, um... Out of the four adults that I mentioned... Um... One of them doesn't drink. Another one has a strict no-tolerance policy, but would probably be okay in a bar. So, I don't know. Like there's only one out of one out of the four that I can imagine seeing in a bar. It sounds really fun. I, I I'd really like to go to one, but organizing one sounds like it would be a headache. It's really cool though that SETI's hosting one and is like, hey, 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 one of our speakers is gonna be a thing. One of our people is going to be a speaker. Or start once a year is an after party. After party to what though? That's the question. Because usually we're just so drained from bigger events. We all just want to go home. Special programs or event. Yeah. Oh, that would be neat. Um, down that would be neat to do a uh, Festival of the Arts weekend. That would probably be the, one of the better times to do it because a lot of people are on campus. I don't know how many people go down to the bars. Another homecoming weekend, maybe. Uh, we do occasionally have speakers come to talk. Hey, DPI! Uh, to talk in the planetarium. But, um... They usually do two talks, and then I think having them go and doing Astronomy on Tap would be a bit much on top of that.
Rocks. Hey, DPI, do you know if there's a um, astronomy on tap near you? So many rocks. And this, this is why we take a break after every image. Not a clue. Hmm, all right. After this image, we're gonna look at um, astronomy on tap stuff. So I was trying, trying to find the beer that it was going to have for my birthday, but I don't see it. Like, at, at Birdfish, and I thought it was a Birdfish brew. See, is that rough surface or is that a rock? And what's the difference? <laughs> There's a terrible part of me that's like, screw it. The brewery doesn't have the beer I want. We're gonna go to Pittsburgh or Cleveland. It has a shadow, it's a boulder. <sighs> what, Columbus? Lego store? Oh no, Columbus is not the closest to me. Oh gosh, no. Um, the closest Lego store is either in Cleveland or Pittsburgh. Columbus is not the closest. Oh gosh, no. Um. Oh, astronomy on tap. Oof. There's not one in Cleveland or Pittsburgh? Part of me is like, I can't believe that. Another part of me is like, if there's not one in Cleveland or Pittsburgh, I, I can't see making one happen in Youngstown. I just don't, that's just not gonna happen. Okay. Hmm. This is a really weird boulder. Astronomy on tap locations. All right, we're gonna open that up in a second. 
I'm just doing my kind of last check. Yeah, I was going to say I, I got caught by the upper left last time. So that's what I was exactly what I was going to check. There's not a whole lot of marks up here. So glad there's 14 other people that look at this. Like I, I feel like that's kind of an excuse and a cop out, but I'm so glad there's 14 other people that look at this. Can't tell if that's a rock or a molder, it's like two different colors. I think the same one mapping says Veronica. Yeah. And like it's hard to tell when the ground is uneven. And like, are these really You know, they use rocks. Are they just protrudences? Like, I, yeah. I like this monstrosity. Like, is this one big boulder that's just, or is that just how the land is? And that there's no shadow here, so that's not a boulder. All right, we're gonna click image done, and then we are going to open up astronomy on tap. Don't work. All right. Fix something. <sighs> Even five dollars will help us buy glow sticks and rubber gloves for use for digging through Neil Neil Tyson's trash. Wow. Um, Austin, Seattle, New Haven, Connecticut, Lansing, Michigan, Tucson, Ann Arbor, Washington, D.C., Chicago, Santa Barbara, Palo Alto, Urbana, Los Angeles and flyby events have occurred in DC, Chicago, Taipei. Events have also taken place in Columbus and Santiago, Chile, and Rochester. Oh wow. Um, oh, oh, oh. Alright. So locations. Yeah, I think this is the sticker I have. What the... what the what? A 
Astronomy on Top in Columbus at Brothers Drake Meadery and Bar. I would totally do that one. Space drafts. Oh, it's South by Southwest. Looks actually really cool. So, yeah, I just don't think we have, oh, there's one in Las Vegas. That's actually super cool. AOT Las Vegas and Flagstaff. Did you want to put the images in general? Uh, shoot, no. Um, good call on that. So we're gonna copy link. Thank you for catching that. Now I just feel stupid. Thank you for the, for the thing. And that should update. Sometimes it doesn't like. All right. So astronomy on tap. Ha 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 If I had a teleporter, I could go to astronomy on tap in Las Vegas for my birthday. Um, they don't have any future events. They've done November and they've done February. Now they're doing June. So. Yes, I finished the image. Yep, it gave me a new one. It totally gave me a new one. It just, I just have the picture and picture thing up. Totally the same with the shiny boulder that looks so interesting. I know, right? Um, yeah, I just... That makes sense that there's one in Lansing for Michigan State. It's, makes sense that there's one in Austin, Texas. I just... Don't think that there's enough people. Ah. Uh, yeah, I noticed. I noticed that. Um, I was looking to see if they had kind of a, um, this is how you do your own. They may have just not updated the website in forever. So, yeah, I was looking to see if they just had a, this is how you hold this kind of event kind of thing. Wait, here they have it. Santa Barbara. They have it on the website. It's under events. Oh. Well, there was an attempt. There was an attempt. Here we go.
Yeah, they probably didn't update the locations, or they're not aware of it. So two or more accessible, engaging science presentations on topics ranging from planets around other stars to supermassive black holes in the beginning and end of the universe. <sighs> Sounds really cool, but yeah, it's a It'll be a bit much. All right, so I'm gonna refresh the other Bennu page. Oof. Oof. So we've done one or two. I think we've done three images. This is, I think, going to be the fourth, and this might be my last one because I'm starting to get tired. I lost everything. Everything's hiding. Well, at least you know you're there for past events. All right, and... <gasps> Delete. Okay, there, now it's gone. Just checking Discord and the hate for Epic Games is amuses me. Oh, and of course there's another that's part of that same master. There we go. Okay, this might be the last one. There's people marking rocks that aren't watching the stream. They're missing out on the support group. I think we're all getting served the same images at once. That's why people are like, hey, I just finished that image. I think we're all getting served the same image at once. Yep. Which isn't bad. It's just a little confusing. This looks like a crater, but I have to, I know I have to mark everything around it first. I 
Oh shoot, I don't know. Am I? No, I'm not. Wrong scene. Thank you. See, this is how tired I am. There we go. Thank you for for calling that out, guys. Because here I am, just, just marking. I'm just marking. No, no coffee. I have plenty of coffee in the fridge. I have an Africola in the fridge I still want to try. Now that coffee stout. Is that a coffee stout? I don't know. That one stout I was trying to show you guys earlier. Like the can. Like if I had one of those. Oof. 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 Hey, X, because that's just what I'm going to call you because there's not enough vowels in your name. Yeah, the Cosmic Cocoa. There's one that's not, that's also not Imperial, which I guess is not aged in bourbon barrels, but they only have that one on tap. And I think they only have it on tap at the brewery. See? This looks like one big boulder to me with a small rock on top, a small shiny rock on top. Come on. There we go. Oh man. Get that a lot. It was supposed to be fate, but everything remotely close to that was taken. Yeah, I bet. I bet. That is probably one of the hardest things of coming up with a username is picking something that's um, unique and for some people not super identifiable. And then you go and you try to use it across all these different platforms and you find out, you know, if it's part of a common word been used by a gazillion other people. See, that's a rock. We're gonna mark that as a boulder. That, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's a prominence. It had a shadow. Some of these images are definitely easier to do than others. Veronica says, yeah, that's why I've always stuck with Veronica Cure. It's almost always available. DPI says, I loved the images with this gigantic rock that spanned more than a meter. They were easy. I know. I know. And now we don't have the easy ones anymore. Well, this looks relatively, like, there's, it's rough, but they're not, like, boulders, I, I don't think. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I um started using like random username generators and to get especially when I want a unique username for a site, so 
not using the same username all over the place. Um, which is good when I watch during work. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that it was a uh, didn't line up with the name I had for your mailing address. I was like, yeah, whatever. Random user username generator, aka letting cat run over the keyboard. I mean, I should. No, um, there's different sites that will use different things to generate usernames. The one that I've been using lately is literally the emoji. It uses emoji to generate username and it takes two emoji and squishes them together. Um, kind of a nonsense, and you can pick the category of emoji too, or you can just leave it random. Kind of a nonsensical one that got chubbed together, which is going to be my new email address for things related to um, Chinese astronomy and rockets and things and social media is Comet Bamboo, which it's kind of nonsensical. It's probably not going to translate well, but oh, that looks like a crater. Astonished lol or joy poop. Yeah, yeah, you can totally get astonished lol or joy poop. You can totally get those. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. That will be good for Chinese social media. Comet Bamboo, yeah. I just, I need to uh, generate a phone number. And no, I can't use um, Google Voice because it's, my phone, my actual phone number, because the way they tie it is an actual phone number um, versus your account. So you can't just deactivate Google Voice on one account and transfer it over to another. It's like, no, this, this phone number's been used before. So I have to go through a different service and do something else. Um, but it, whatever it is, I need to be able to receive text messages. So, yeah. I have to get a burner phone, lol. I had a burner phone. I had a burner phone. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get another one. I can even have a burner smartphone. Cause I actually have two phones. I treat one of them like a tablet though, a teeny tiny little tablet. I don't think that's a burner, I don't think that's a boulder. Some of them are big enough to be. So DPI says, stupid question, what is a burner phone? A burner phone is um, a name for a prepaid cell phone. Uh, you're supposed to, even when you do the prepaid cell phone thing, you're supposed to give your name and I think your social security number or some way of uniquely identifying you. If you get your SIM card at some places, like you buy it with cash, there are, I've heard of stories where they'll just put like the name of the store in for the name field. Um, but we're talking, oh, name and address, yeah. Um, Cause there's supposed to be a name and address associated with every single uh, phone and phone number. Um, but uh, there are some people that manage to get it without a name and phone number or a name and address associated with the phone number. There are ways to do it and um, you can just buy refills uh, with cash. Most prepaid phones, yeah, or give false info. Most prepaid phones um, are on a month-to-month -month plan, like how phones were or are in um, 
Mm, how how phones were in different parts of the world instead of postpaid. So instead of prepaid or instead of postpaid, like you pay after uh, the month, you pay ahead of time. You pay for your your usage. Um, so there's the month the monthly plans, and then there's the usage and. Right now, like track phone's the only one that I know of that does strictly usage. There's a few other ones, but usually they're all like, okay, you're connected, this is your monthly service fee, you're connected, da 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 da. But uh Yeah, they're just you can get little older flip phones uh that aren't smartphones. You can get these plans for smartphones, um yeah, I mean, it's a thing. So, some, uh, some prepaid companies are better if you're, like, have family internationally. There's a lot of pros and cons to each. So, uh, I used to know a whole lot more about it, and I've not needed that information, so I've just kind of, it's gotten filed away. Um, because I help you know, Kenyan friends get set up with phones. I had um, a prepaid phone for a while because I wasn't paying my own phone bill and I wanted to make sure I still had a phone in case mine got shut off unexpectedly. So. And I've toyed around with the idea of just downgrading to just a, a dumb phone or a feature phone. But I have to go and buy the phone. Which, that's a couple hundred dollars just for the phone. Um, some prepaid plans, especially if you go month to month, uh, they'll toss in a pretty cheap phone, usually under a hundred dollars. But it might be uh, locked to the company. So, Veronica says they are helpful when helping someone escape abusive situation. Yes, yes they are. It, it is nice to have a phone that you have control over. It was, it was a nice peace of mind. It was a phone I had control over. It was a phone I could use that... Um, Because it wasn't on somebody else's billing plan, I knew everything that took care of, you know, took part on that was very, um, was very, uh, was more private. Wait, are dumb feature phones that expensive in the US? Yeah, they can be. Um, they can be. Again, I haven't looked at them simply because I haven't, you know, had the... There's other things I'd rather pay for, even though it would save me money in the long run. Like, my dog's teeth need done. They need their vaccinations. Um, things like that. So when it's choice between getting my dog's teeth done, which is, for the one dog, is going to be $200, I think, maybe? That's if they don't have to pull anything. And um, getting a new phone, I'm just going to stick with, you know, what I got. Yeah, adult priorities are annoying. They are. Yeah, both of the dogs need their teeth done. There's work that needs done on my house. So, it's kind of annoying. All right.
Alright, I think it's safe to mark that crater now. Another problem I'm having is that like I re I get really good coverage with Verizon like, pretty much everywhere I go and um, it'd actually be cheaper to move me onto somebody's plan and then I just pay the line fee and it would be for me to potentially get another phone. But the people that I would move onto a line with, or onto an account with, do not have Verizon. And I like the amount of coverage I get. Like, I'm not comfortable when I go out to my parents' house and, you know, I have coverage, but, you know, favorite human, for example, might not. Okay. I think. Maybe. What do you guys think? Do you think it's almost done? I know I've got all the big stuff. All the big stuff. That looks like a boulder that's sunk in a little. Bottom left. Okay. Oh yeah, I see him. I see what you're talking about. as I click a few more. Oof. Oof, oof. All right, I think, I think it's done. No, really, I think it's done. It looks like it's a small crater, but I don't think it's big enough to mark. Just barely. And... Image done. This one looks a little more doable. view, refresh. Oh, and it still only says 1,012 done. Oof. 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 But it looks like we're a third of the way there. I wish there was a way I could 
have a live uh, a live update on stream of how many that are done. We did slow down a bit on the second week. We did. I'm staring at this image like, should I do it or should I just go to bed? I think I'm gonna transition so you guys can see. And when it was just 450, we we're like, yeah, cool, we can knock this out or whatever it was to begin with, 700 or whatever. And then because the number keeps going up, I think it discourages people. Plus, this is hard. This is really hard. Um. And there's still more images coming. There's still more images coming. How many images total? Hey, Drop Barry Antics. Um, I think there's going to be another 4,500 dropped. So there's going to be close to 5,000 images total. So. Yeah. So I'm staring at this and like, do I really want to do it because it's almost two. And it takes me forever. And like, I would need to take a break before I did another one. But I think, I think I'm going to call it good here because The dogs are asleep. Favorite humans probably asleep. <sighs> Sleep sounds good. If I'm going to be out running around tomorrow, I need sleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Oof. Oof. It's just, it's a lot. Oh, we have an Instagram? No. We don't update our Instagram. Um, okay. So yeah, hi, Drop Bear. Bye, Drop Bear. <laughs> Kinda hate to do this to you, but uh, it's... I am tired. And it is 2 a.m. <sighs> How many images did I do? Like four? I feel like four is my limit. doesn't look like anything else is happening in Discord. So, yeah, um, things and stuff. Now I have the image you just finished, yeah. I believe it, you can do it, you can do it. I don't know, does it make it worse or better when you, you know, see a image that I just finished? Drop Bear Antic says, tired, no worries. Go Betty Buys then. Yeah, remove my makeup, go to bed. Um, my parents don't know it yet, but I'm going to try to do a whole bunch of, uh... oh, you mark it better? Okay. Um, my parents don't know it yet, but they're probably gonna help me with a whole bunch of stuff tomorrow. So, oof, oof, oof. Now my eyes are adjusting to not having their things on. So, alrighty, I'm gonna get the credits all ready to play, cause you know, credits. And then, anybody know who we wanna raid? I don't even know who's live right now, but. Oh, I 
this was your Bennu marking support group stream. We did four images, I think. Oof. Bennu Mappers is a CosmoQuest project, and this is a CosmoQuest stream. CosmoQuest is part of PSI, that's Planetary Science Institute, in Tucson, Arizona. Hey! Shh, 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 shh. My dogs are not asleep. Hi! Do you want to say goodnight to everybody? No? Okay, that's fine. Um, we are brought to you by you, so thank you, really, for everything. Thank you all. Um, this and our other streams are archived on YouTube, and tune in tomorrow at 1700 hours UTC for daily space! So, yeah, have a wonderful insert time of day here. Um, I'm gonna take the dogs and go crawl into bed with favorite human. So, be awesome everybody, and I will see you Wednesday, if not tomorrow. I don't know if we'll do another rock stream tomorrow. Anyways, if you follow, you get notified. If you're in Discord, you'll get notified. And if you have yourself tagged in the Discord, as a Bennu mapper, you'll get notified. All the notifications. So yeah, uh, thank you all. And uh, see you later. Bye.